what we're doing. We're running the race. Eso es lo que hacemos. Estamos corriendo esa carrera. Amen. Amen. Why don't you see our tonight? We have a lot of needs. Uh, we've got, uh, there's probably uh, five or six serious needs. Sister Kelly Christian uh, has been having seizures on her way to the hospital. Uh, Brother and Sister Thomas and several from their church has got COVID. And uh, hay muchas necesidades en este lugar. Eh, puedo pensar de unas cinco o seis serias necesidades. Hay una hermana que necesita oración por una necesidad médica. Así que estemos en oración por ellos. Amen. Many others. Too many to mention. But why don't we just, if you've got somebody that's on your heart, why don't you just raise your hand and the Lord knows that need. And let's just take these needs to the Lord tonight. Demasiados para, para nombrar, pero si tiene alguien en su corazón, levante esa mano y oremos juntos al Señor por ellos. Amen. Father, we love you tonight. We just praise you and thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. We plead the blood tonight, God, over every need, over every heart, life and soul, Lord. You see the situation in each of us, Lord. Tonight, we just humbly come before you, God, and ask you to be the Lord.
Praise the Lord. You can be seated. Continue to worship the Lord. Continuemos a adorar al Señor. Just let Him have His way in your heart and life tonight. Y deja que haga lo que necesita en tu vida. Amen. I want to say it's good to have Brother Dylan here tonight. Quiero quiero decir que es bueno tener a nuestro hermano que nos visita hoy. Amen. It's good to have all the regulars, Brother Sidney and Sister Joyce. Y es bueno también tener a los que están aquí localmente de la iglesia. Amen. And all of the Hispanic Church and all the American Church, we just love you. Y toda la iglesia hispana, la iglesia americana, todos los amamos. Amen. When we get to heaven, I'm going to understand you and you will understand me. Estoy contento de que llegando al cielo, usted va a entender a mí y yo lo voy a entender a usted. That's something my wife hadn't been able to do in 34 years of marriage. Eso es algo que ni mi esposa ha podido hacer en 30 y algo de años. Amen, amen. All right, we're going to come to you tonight for the offering tonight. The offering will go in its entirety to the evangelist, and we thank you for being faithful in your giving. Vamos a pasar al tiempo de la ofrenda. Va a ir 100% al evangelista, y damos gracias por su fidelidad en ofrenda. Yes, sir. 
He'll dangle a carrot and make it look good. Right. But the thief just comes to kill and destroy. Yes, Praise man. the Lord. All these songs we've been singing about is Jesus and Jesus. I understand that. Pero, Gloria a Dios que estos cantos hablan de Jesús y eso sí lo entiendo, amén. Amén, amén. Thank God for the liberty of the Holy Ghost here tonight. Gracias a Dios por la libertad del Espíritu Santo en esta noche. I'm glad that there's a judge that is going to discern between right and wrong and good and evil. Estoy contento de que habrá un juez que va a discernir entre el bien y el mal. You know, God, God knows the, the, the uh, uh, thoughts and the intents of the heart. Sabes, Dios conoce los pensamientos y las intenciones del corazón. And aren't you glad that it's peace between us and Him when it's, yes, when it's right between us and Him? Y que contentos estaremos sabiendo que estamos bien con el Señor y que paz entre Él y nosotros. Amen. I, I cannot. Uh, I don't want y'all to get quiet on me now. No quiero que se pongan tan calladitos ahora. I've worked. Uh, it's hard to try to build pretty well the Hispanic church as I have the English church. Yeah. I said I've worked pretty well. It's hard to try to build the Hispanic church as I have the English church. He tratado de edificar a la iglesia hispana así como también a la iglesia de inglés, amén, americana. And God knows if that's a lie or an exaggeration. Y el Señor lo sabe, no es ninguna exageración. Amen. 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 Precious souls, red, yes, yellow, amen. black, and white. We're precious in His sight. Son almas preciosas, no importa el color que sea cada uno de nosotros. Amen. 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 The devil's a liar. Amen. The devil's a liar. El diablo es un mentiroso. Yes. Je Jesus is exalted. Yes. Amen. Exaltado. Amen. Amen. I want to say thank you for your giving, your offering to the evangelist, brother and sister, man, and their. Uh, a son and daughter are precious people. Quiero agradecerles una vez más por su dadivoso corazón. La familia del evangelista es una familia preciosa. Amen. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Yes, amen. El Espíritu de Dios está, ahí hay libertad. And I just admonish you to get in and worship God tonight. Yes, amen. Solamente le pido que se envuelva, que se envuelva en este servicio y que adoremos juntos al Señor. Amen. Amen. All right, this time we're going to turn the service over to the man. En este, en esta hora vamos a pasarle el tiempo a nuestro hermano Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good to be in the house of God tonight. Es bueno estar en la casa del Señor hoy. Good to see you. Bueno verle. The word says, la palabra dice, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bendecida al Señor, mi corazón. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Yes. Todo lo que está dentro de mí, bendice su nombre. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bendice alma mía, Jehová. And forget not all his benefits. Y no te olvides de sus beneficios. Who forgive all my iniquities. Right. Y se olvidó de todas sus iniquidades. Yes. Y sanó toda tu enfermedad. Redeem my life from destruction. Yes. Que redimió tu vida de la destrucción. Crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercy. Yes. Que me coronó de misericordia y de dadivosas amor. Satisfies my mouth with good things. Que llena mi boca de cosas buenas. Renews my strength as an eagle. Que multiplica mis fuerzas como el águila. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's let the Lord have His way tonight. Glad you're here. Queremos que el Señor haga lo que necesite. Estoy contento de que está aquí. Hallelujah. Dios es bueno en esta noche. Amo el Espíritu que sentimos en este lugar. David dijo, yo adoraré al Señor con instrumentos amén de cuerdas. So we're going to do a little bit of taking for you. This is just an instrumental that the man clan has started doing. Así que vamos a tocar algo, un instrumental que empezamos a hacer como la familia me. It's an old hymn that says, How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Es un himno antiguo que dice, Qué maravilloso y qué hermoso es el amor de Dios para mí.
I'm thankful for his love tonight. Yes, amen. Well, the man clan just released a new uh, CD this year. Nuestra familia eh, acaba de sacar un disco este año. I'm going to do one of those brand new songs for you next. Y quiero cantar uno de nuestros nuevos cantos. And um, I love the message in this song. Y amo el mensaje en este canto. It talks about how the maker can fix it. Habla de cómo el que hizo todo el universo puede arreglarlo. Yeah. It doesn't matter how broken or how bruised no. the part might be. I'm thankful that the, the one that made it can make it like me. No importa que haya quebrantado y que haya hecho este asunto, el que hizo todo el universo puede arreglarlo. Yeah.
Dice, y comieron y bebieron delante de Jehová aquel día con gran gozo y, y dieron por segunda vez la vestidura del reino a Salomón, hijo de David y ante Jehová le ungieron por príncipe y hacedor por sacerdote. Quiero que notes conmigo, la Biblia dice en esa frase They made Solomon the son of David king right. the second time. Y dieron por segunda vez la vestidura, la investidura del reino a Salomón. They made Solomon the son of David king the second time. Una vez más, por segunda vez le dieron la investidura del reino. He was reino already Salomón. king, but they did it again. Ya era rey, pero lo hicieron una vez más. He was already king, but they did it again. Ya era rey, pero lo hicieron una vez más. If the Lord is coming tonight, I want to preach a little about all this thought of si el Señor me ayudara, quiero predicar sobre el tema, hazlo una vez más. Do it again. Hazlo una vez más. Let's pray. Father, we love you tonight. We thank you for loving us. Goodness, opportunity, and giving us to come and gather the house. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for your presence. We sense tonight, Lord, we stand in our need of the Holy Ghost. And we ask the Lord to send my soul ablaze in a faith to preach thy word. Our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our our soul. We need to gather around these altars. God, let your unction and already upon our church. Lord God, we thank you. Give me praise for Jesus' glorious name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Thank Do it again. When my kids were young, cuando mis hijos eran jóvenes, you know it's interesting how fathers play with their children. Sabes es interesante como los padres juegan con sus hijos. I would uh, take my little kids. Yo tomaba mis hijos. And I pick them up. Y los recogía. And I throw them up in the air. Y los tiraba en el aire. And catch them. Y los atrapaba una vez más. Uh, and throw them up in the air and catch them. Y una vez más los tiraba y los atrapaba. Mother-in-law had a heart attack. Mi suegra casi le daba un paro cardíaco. But He is lovely. But you know, throw them up in the air, throw them up in the air, catch them, you know, have a great time. Sabe, los tiraba y los trapaba y teníamos un buen tiempo. And I put them down. Y cuando los bajaba. And uh, they'd look up to me and say, again. Ellos me miraban y decían, otra vez. So I pick them up, throw them up. And they put them down. Así para vez más los tiraba para arriba, los atrapaba y luego los ponía en el suelo. And they'd say, again. Y me decían, una vez más. So I pick them up. Uh, put them down and they'd say again. Pretty soon I'm picking them up and they're barely leaving my arms, you know. Uh, right. Again, do it again. Do it again. They liked it. Do it again. Una vez más porque les gustaba. Or, or we play outside. O jugábamos afuera. And, uh, and, and, and I would, you know, they were little so I'd grab their wrist and their ankle. Y estaban chiquitos así que agarraba sus muñecas y sus... Y sus talones. 
And I'd spin them around. Y les daba vuelta. And they'd hold the other arm and leg out like an airplane. Y, y con las otras manos las extendían como si fuera oh. un avión. And then I'd bring them for a landing on the grass. Y luego yeah. los hacía que aterrizaran en el paso. And they would laugh. Y luego se reían. And they'd get up. Y una vez separados. Again. Y decían otra vez. So I'd pick them up. Así que los recogía una vez más. And they'd get up and they'd say, again. Y se paraban y una vez más se decían, <laughs> otra vez. Pretty soon I'm like, oh. Again, again. Pensado, pero me decían otra vez. You see that they enjoyed it. Sabes, ellos and so they wanted their father to do it again. Y que su padre I said they enjoyed it, so they wanted their father to do it again. Lo disfrutaron y querían que su padre lo hiciera otra vez. I enjoy the presence of God. Yo disfruto la presencia de Dios. I enjoy being in the presence of God. Yo disfruto. And I want my father to do it again. I got saved the first Sunday of September 1985. Right. I walked down an aisle to an old-fashioned altar. I knelt and gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. Man, it felt good. Oh, se sintió bueno. Woo! Hallelujah. Ah, I don't know. Can you say Christ fall ball and slobber and snotted and still? Had a time. It was. I had a time. Oh, tenía tuve el tiempo de mi vida. And you know what? I enjoyed it so much. I came back again. Pero sabes qué? And I got back in the altar. Que una vez más llegué al altar. And I said, God, do that again. Y le dije, Dios, haz eso otra vez en mí. And it felt so good. I came back again. And said, do that again. Y una vez más regresé y dije, haz otra vez. Haz otra vez. God, move in my life again. Right? God, touch my heart again. He filled it with the Holy Ghost in 
Acts chapter 2. En capítulo 2 de Hechos los llenó del Espíritu Santo. Two chapters later, Acts chapter 4, verse 31. Dos capítulos después. He does it again. Él lo hace una vez más. Same group. Eh, grupo igual. He filled them again. Los llenó una vez oh, más. Oh, God, would you do it again? Oh, Dios, God, would you do it again? Years ago, en hace años. the pastor was an older gentleman in his late 80s. El pastor tenía unos 80 años. His older brother had gotten saved right before the revival. Su hermano mayor se había reconciliado antes del avivamiento. His older brother was 90 or 91. Tenía 90, 91 años. In that revival, one night, en ese avivamiento una noche, that that elder gentleman, 90 years of age, ese anciano came to the altar seeking for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We got to pray for him. The Spirit of God touched his heart and life. El Espíritu del Señor tocó su vida. The Holy Ghost, he got to speak in a glorious language. His hands were really raised towards heaven. He's crying, having a great time. His hands were raised towards heaven. He's crying, having a great time. His hands were raised towards heaven. He's crying, having a great time. His hands were raised towards heaven. He's crying, having a great time. His hands were raised towards heaven. He's crying, having a great time. His hands were raised towards heaven. Y de repente baja sus manos y empieza a ver alrededor. Realizing he's basically the last one at the altar, you probably think in his mind. Y se da cuenta de que ese es el último. I probably need to go sit down. Y podemos ver que en su mente estaba diciendo necesito ir a sentarme. But he just kind of went like this with his hands. Y empezó a hacer así con sus manos. And then he just stuck them straight back up in the air. Y de repente una vez más. And he just went to speak in tongues again and the Lord is like in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You know what they were saying? The angel comes to him, wakes him up, gives him some bread. El ángel viene hacia él, lo despierta, le da pan. He eats the bread, goes back to sleep. Y una vez más se duerme. And the Bible says the angel came and touched him the second time. La Biblia dice que una vez más vino el ángel y lo tocó por segunda vez. The angel came and touched him the second time. El ángel viene y lo tocó por segunda vez. He already touched him once, but he touched him the second time. Ya lo había tocado una vez, pero lo tocó por segunda vez. And he said, arise and eat. Y le dijo, levántate y come. Get up and eat. Levántate y come. Here's why. Esto es la razón. Because this journey is too great for you. Porque este viaje va a ser demasiado largo. You need me to touch you again so you can make this journey. Necesitas que yo te toque otra vez para que lo hagas. You need me to touch you again so you can make this journey. Necesitas que yo te toque otra vez. Church, this journey is too great for us. Iglesia, este viaje es muy largo para nosotros. We need him to touch us again. I'm sure many of you can look back at services in your life. Estoy seguro que podemos recordar servicios en los. Where the power of God, the presence of God filled the building. Cuando el poder de Dios y la presencia de Dios llenaron. And I mean, just did great things. Holy Ghost revival broke out. El templo y que se el avivamiento que se sintió en esa vez. My prayer is, God, would you do it again? Mi oración es, Señor, haz otra vez. God, would you do it again? Dios, haz otra vez. Would you send a revival to our church? Mandarás ese avivamiento a la iglesia. English and the Spanish church. Yes. Oh, like the revivals of yesteryear. Oh, like the revivals of old. God to do it again for our children. Some of us that have been around this thing for a while, we've experienced it. Algunos de nosotros que hemos estado en esto por mucho tiempo lo hemos experimentado. But we've got some young people that have never experienced good old-fashioned Holy Ghost revival. Pero tenemos unos jóvenes que tal vez no se recuerdan de sus servicios de avivamiento. God, would you do it again for our children? They might know what I know and feel what I felt. Si ellos supieran lo que yo siento. Yes. In the reading of our text, leyendo nuestras escrituras, they were kind of 
kind of in a revival type atmosphere. En el texto vemos que tenían una they were rejoicing. Atmósfera de regocijo. They were bringing offerings. De regocijo, traían ofrendas. They were gathering together. Estaban juntos. Offering sacrifices. Ofreciendo sacrificios. Having a great time. Teniendo right. un buen tiempo. And the Bible said, and they anointed David king the second time. Y la Biblia dice que vestieron a David a Salomón una vez más. They anointed David king the second time. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, Solomon. I'm sorry. They do it Solomon the king the second time. Dicieron a Salomón de vestir las reglas una vez más. Hallelujah. How do you understand? Solomon had already been made king. ¿Cuántos entienden que Salomón ya era rey? First Kings, I believe it was chapter one. They'd already anointed him to be king. Primera, primera de Reyes creo que es el uno. He had ridden on the king's donkey. Ya había subido sobre el burro real. The prophet Nathan had gone before him. El profeta ya había ido delante de él. They had rejoiced before him till the earth. Rain with their singing. Se habían regocijado con cantos. Um, but here the Bible says they they anointed Solomon the king the second time. Pero aquí dice que lo revistieron una vez más. He was already king. Ya era rey. But they did it again. Pero lo hicieron otra vez. He was already the king, but they did it again. Ya era rey, pero lo hicieron otra vez. What they were saying is they were saying this. Lo que estaban diciendo era esto. Solomon, you're still a king. Salomón todavía es nuestro rey. Solomon, I'm just reaffirming you're still a king. Salomón, solamente estamos reafirmando que eres nuestro rey. Solomon, I'm just rededicating myself to you as my king. Salomón, nos estamos rededicando hacia ti. Solomon, I'm just reconsecrating me to you. You're my king. Salomón, nos estamos reconsagrando. We want God to do it again. But I believe God's waiting for you and I to do it again. He may already be our king. But we need to say, God, I'm just reaffirming you're my king. I'm just rededicating my life to you. I'm just reconsecrating my life to you. I gave you my life for us. But I'm going to give it to you again. Reaffirm Jesus, you're still my king. Yes. I believe God's waiting for us to do it again. The Bible tells us that the Jews were to, re were to gather at the temple three times a year. They would come to the temple and they would make the, the various sacrifices. Three to four months later they would come again and do it again. Tres o cuatro meses después venían y lo hacían otra vez. Three or four months later they would come and do it again. Tres o cuatro meses después lo hacían una vez más. And do it again. Y otra vez. And do it again. How do you need to do it again? Yes. He said, preacher, we had revival last year. We'll do it again. Yes. But I gave you everything last year. Do it again. Yes. I dedicated my life last year. Me dediqué el año pasado. Do it again. Lo haz otra vez. Yes. I, I surrendered everything last year. Yo le rendí todo el año pasado. Surrender it again. Rinde todo otra vez. Do it again. Haz otra vez. Do it again. Do it again. Haz otra vez. We open our hymn book and we sing. I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to Jesus, I surrender. I surrender all. Let me understand when we're done singing the hymn. We don't tear it out of the hymn book and throw it away. How do you know we can sing it again? Yes, sir. And, and we can sing it again. Right? And we can sing it again. Yes, sir. Some folks come in and they say, well, I surrendered to God one time. I'm glad you surrendered to God 45 years ago, but what about today? 
Some years ago, Hace unos años, about seven, seven, and eight, seven or eight years in a row, eh, unos siete, ocho años seguidos, I was able to go back to a pastor's conference in Beaumont, Texas. Ir a una del pastor Allen, en Texas. And uh, there would be anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred pastors. Y entre mil y mil pastores. And it was always the week before Easter. Y era la and, uh, antes de we started on Tuesday night. Y 
empezábamos el jueves en la noche. Had one service Tuesday night. Teníamos un servicio. Three services Wednesday morning. Tres servicios el miércoles en la mañana. Service Wednesday night. Eh, un servicio el miércoles en la noche. Three services Thursday and Thursday night. Tres servicios el jueves. And then ended on a couple three services Friday morning. Y terminábamos el viernes. And it started with six o'clock in the morning prayer every morning. Y empezábamos con oración en la mañana. We were in church. And always church and eat, church and eat, church and eat. Estábamos en modo de iglesia comer, iglesia comer, iglesia comer. And uh, and on Tuesday night, the very first service. Y el jueves en la noche, el primer servicio. Now, now understand, I'm an evangelist. I'm in, I'm in the ministry. I'm working for God. Ahora estoy en el ministerio. Estoy trabajando para Dios. In love with Jesus, He's my everything. Amo a Jesús, él es mi todo. And, uh, and working for the King. Y trabajando para but I get there on that first service Tuesday night. Pero llego a ese primer servicio. That man would preach. Y ese hombre predicó. I'd run to that altar. Y yo corrí al altar. Mm. Hallelujah. And I'd give it all to him again. Y me rendía yes, todo completamente una vez más. Hallelujah. I mean, I'd get saved all over again. I'd get filled all over. I'd just start all over again. Es como que si me fuera salvo por primera vez una vez más. I'd just get down there again. Yo me encargo una vez más. And the next morning, y el día siguiente, that preacher would preach, ese predicador predicaba. And I'd run to that altar, y una vez más se iba a sentar. And do it again. Y lo haría yes, yes. 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 And the next service he preach, y el servicio siguiente, and I'd run to that altar, and I'd do it again. Más, <laughs> se le oh, no, four, three, six, about 12 services in three days. In every service, I'm running to the altar. I said, God, I know I was just here a few hours ago. But I'm just giving it to you again. I'm just giving it to you again. And all I have to hit that altar crying and weeping. I said, God, I know I answered the call to preach the gospel. 30 something years ago. But God, I'm just reaffirming. Pero si yo solo quiero reafirmar, I'll go where you want me to go. Que yo iré a donde tú quieras, I'll be what you want me to be. Yo seré lo que tú quieras, I'll do what you want me to do. Yo seré lo que quieras, I'm your man. Yo soy tu hombre, You're my king. Tú eres mi and I'm going to do it again. Yo lo voy a hacer tonight vez. God's looking for a people. Esta noche el Señor busca. That'll do it again. Que lo hagan otra vez. That'll give me everything again. That'll say, Jesus, you're my king. Yes, you're my king. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many understand we're in revival? And when you're in revival, it's always okay to do it again. Yes, amen. It's always okay to do it again. Hallelujah. Hermano, yo sí, yo disfruto la presencia. And I want God to do it again in our lives. Yo quiero que el Señor lo haga una vez más en nuestra vida. In my life, in my vida, and in your life, in tu vida. And I believe God wants us to do it again. Pero yo creo que Dios quiere que lo hagamos una vez más. Let's pray, Father. We love you tonight. Thank you for the mercy of this coming. Come and stay with every heart of our heart. We're so moved together in these altars. Lamb of God, I'm asking you, would you do it again? Shukriya, la 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 la